welcome back to another video everyone today i'm going to show you another of my favorite tweaks for ios and it's called system info now i have my iphone 5 today uh, i chose it because well i really like to work with the older devices both with android and ios um, but this actually works with the latest versions of ios as well because i had it on my iphone 6 plus um, so if you have it then it would work for you as well but also keep in mind that i realize now that the repo that has the package is not available for now i think the servers are overloaded or something but if anyone uh, if it works for you then that's very good for you there's for me it doesn't i'm not sure why it doesn't work but the uh, repo is called big boss repo and i'm not sure exactly what is wrong with it but it has been down in the past but anyway let's jump right into the video okay so let's open up cdr so you're going to open up cdr and uh, so let's go to sources let me just show you see that i have the big boss repo here this is one of the important repos as well as this one more than my i repo um like i said it doesn't work for me i'm not sure why but if it does work for you then that's okay and also let me reiterate that it works for ios 12 as well so go to search and you're going to search for system info and here it is over here and just let it open up for a while let me allow it to load so you can see the compatibility here um ios 10 11 but like i said it works on ios 12 i had it on my iphone 6 plus lots of information you should uh, take some time probably pause the video and read this because it's very very important um you would see the information that it would show about your device and like i said that's very important that you read it so i'm scrolling through here i don't want to scroll through too fast but like i said you pause it and um you can read about it a bit more so if i show you from the screenshots here that's listed you can see all the amazing things that it can do the different information that it lists about your device so let's get it installed and you can see for yourself so just tap on install and then you go and select confirm and then it would start installing with and now you're going to select restart springboard so that the new package can be applied onto the device okay now scroll across it doesn't appear on your home screen all you have to do now is just go to settings go to general go to about and from there you will see all the information a few new information here um, about your memory your public ip address lots of information um, you can also uh, save your sh sh blobs um, of course something that's very important if you would like to downgrade you can also use this to save your sh sh blobs very very good features here yeah. So if you see you scroll across now let's go back i want to show you also if you go down to battery it will also show you lots of information on your battery as well now i'm this might take some time to load here something as well also it will show you the total drain your active usage and so on if you scroll all the way down you would also see your battery capacity so the battery that i have is quite old so that's expected um, you would also see your amperage your voltage of the battery the battery temperature and um, also some other information down there 
also if you're on ios 10 and you know you don't have the new feature that ios has which is called battery health uh, let me show you on my iphone 6 plus you go over to battery health and you see mine doesn't work that's because i installed another battery in there and i think it's probably not compatible or so on i'm not too sure i think it mainly works with original apple batteries but with this new app um, system info you can actually go back to general and scroll down and there's somewhere that it shows you some more information about your battery the battery capacity and also your battery cycles now for me that that's insane my battery cycles you see the device has been charged for 702 times and that's actually true um, it has been charged for 702 times so you can actually determine your battery health with this tweak um, so if you don't have iOS 12 then you're lucky enough to have this tweak because it actually helps you determine the health of your battery now we've come to the end of this video guys uh, thank you very much for watching S hit thumbs up subscribe to my channel share the video and um, I will catch you guys in another video